Hey guys, <clears throat> sorry about the lighting. Um, my normal light, it blew, but it doesn't supply enough light as it is. Um, and then I had a lamp that was just sitting on my shelf, but Bella walked past it and it got knocked off the shelf and broke. So now all I have is the light from my window and it's a bit overcast and it's getting late, so it's not very good light. So my apologies for that. Um, first, uh, my uh, quick update. I finished Maze Runner, which is by James Dashner, which is what I'm going to read, um, do a review on in a minute. Uh, but uh, on Thursday, I think, I um, went to the shops and Dimmix, which is my favourite bookstore, um, well, one of my favourite bookstores, they were having a two for, no, three for two sale on children's and young adults um, books. So I bought two books and my sister got a third. Um, I did some, some research and my camera just spazzed out this thing. That was weird. Anyway, I did some research and I feel so behind. But um, I now know what dystopian and what um, YA is. So maybe I'll use those terms a bit more. <laughs> but um, I didn't know what they meant before. <laughs> and for those of you who are with me and you didn't know what it meant, dystopian is a world without... That's like a like technologically advanced but without the technology <laughs> like um Finnegan of the Rock is dystopian I suppose Gorn would be dystopian Narnia yeah it's so basically a world that lives without phones and cameras and computers all that sort of stuff so it's dystopian and YA is young adult um so the books that I got um probably all know the Mortal Instruments series, City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I read this one ages ago, but I wasn't... Everyone... It's really shiny, so... <laughs> um, everyone got really excited about it when they saw it, but... I didn't get quite so excited. I think I was sort of over all the raving and all that sort of stuff, and everyone else was doing that. I sort of just gave up on it and thought... Had all these high expectations and sort of didn't get... Like, oh, it's, difficult. it's a good book, but it's not one that I was heaps excited about. Not one that I was excited about quite as much as everyone else was excited about. Alright, so I got book two, which is City of Ashes. And this one I was a bit annoyed with because there's only this part here and that part there. She's got marks or um, runes on her arms. Um, and they're, they're the only parts that are shiny other than the title. Whereas if you look at this one, that's lots of shiny stuff. Um, yeah, so, also if you look, there's nothing, oh, there's nothing there, and there's nothing there. But on the next one, which is the third book, the second book I got, there is, it says there, it says, A uh, Story World I Love, from Stephanie Meyer. Um, which, that slightly annoyed me, I don't, I don't like that. The backs are a bit different. So that's really annoying. The small things I don't like. Um, yeah. So that is what I got. I'm reading City of Ashes now. I'm that far through it. Not very far, but I'm getting there. So that's that. Um, <clears throat> right, I finished Maze Runner, which was really, really enjoyable to read. I loved it. Um, it says a must for the fans of Gorn. Yes, must for the fan of Gorn. For the fans of Gorn. I'm not a full-on fan of Gorn, but I said in another video that um, the Scorch Trials. This one it says the must for the fans of the Hunger Games. I'm a fan of the Hunger Games. Uh, so yes, I looked up the Scorch Trials. They had. It's only um, fairly new in Australia. So, they only had the hard cover, which was a bit annoying, and they didn't have it like this. It was it was sort of like, it had the picture on the black part, and the black part was the words. If that makes sense. Makes sense in my head. Um, so, Maze Runner is about this boy who wakes up in an elevator, uh, and he doesn't remember anything except for his first name, and it's really confusing how the memory wipe works. But you know things like, you know what, a what things are, but you don't know why you know what uh, what those things are. 
basically, you know, everything about the world except for uh, except for people and places in uh, the world. <laughs> it's really confusing to explain. So all he can remember is his first name, <clears throat> and um, he cut this elevator opens and he's in this place called the Glade with lots of other boys. It was about 60 boys, I think it was. No, 40. Uh, 40 to 50 boys. Uh, and they're in the Glade and um, the walls shut every night and he figures out that behind the walls there is a maze. Um, and he wants... A runner <clears throat> is someone who runs through the maze and he wants to be a runner, but newbies don't really get the chance to be a runner. Anyway, so this is a uh, chicken house book, if you look there. And it says, try it, read page 35. Yeah, 35. Um, I love chicken house, they're like, awesome. Um, and I'll read the back and then I'll read page 35. So it says, okay, I'm going to apologise for my reading because I really suck. Okay. When the doors of the lift crank open, the only thing Thomas can remember is his first name. But he's not alone. He's surrounded by boys who welcome him to the glade an encampment at the centre of a bizarre and terrible maze. Like Thomas, the Gladers don't know why or how they came to be there or what's happened to the world outside. All they know is that every morning when the, the walls slide back, they will risk everything to find out. Uh, page 35, I want. Page 35. Runners, Thomas said, wishing he knew where this was coming from. Whatever they're doing out there, I want in. You don't even know what you're talking about, Chuck grumbled and rolled over. Go to sleep. Thomas felt a new, a new surge of confidence, even though he truly didn't know what he was talking about. I want to be a runner. Chuck turned back and got up on his elbow. You can forget that little thought right now. Thomas wondered at Chuck's reaction, but pressed on. Don't try to... Thomas, newbie, my new friend, forget it. I'll tell Albie tomorrow. A runner, Thomas thought. I don't even know what it means. Have I gone completely insane? Chuck lay down with a laugh. You're a piece of clunk. Go to sleep. But Thomas couldn't quite. <clears throat> couldn't quit. Something out there. It feels familiar. Go to sleep. Then it hit Thomas. He felt like several pieces of the puzzle had been put together. He didn't know what the ultimate picture were would be, but his next words almost felt like they were coming from someone else. Chuck, I... I think I've been here before. He heard his friend sit up, heard the intake of breath, but Thomas rolled over and refused to say another word, worried he'd messed up this new sense of being encouraged, eradic eradicate the reassuring calm that filled in his filled his heart. Sleep came much more easily than he expected. So that's page thirty five. Um it is I don't I don't wanna ruin anything, but basically he comes, then a girl comes, which, um, if you look up reviews, a lot of people find that in the blurb at the back, but this one doesn't have it. Anyway, so he arrives in the Glade. It's supposed to be another month until another person arrives in the Glade, but it's another day. The next day, a girl turns up, and the girl is the first time a girl has ever been in the Glade. Um, and then she has a note that says everything will change. So, Maze Runner. I, um... <laughs> I tend to do this a lot, but I gave it 5 out of 5 stars because I love it. I just do. It's awesome. Um, yeah, so I definitely recommend it. Maze Runner by James Dashner. It's a really cool name, I think. Anyway. Um, I can't reach, wait to read The Scorch Trials. I'm still waiting on it to come out in paperback and, like, this cover. <coughs> um... Maybe I can get it from Chicken House. Anyway, so it's really cool and I really suggest it. So, um, go. If you are a fan of Colin and of the Hunger Games, I definitely, it's definitely for you. I was, it's got no romance, basically no romance in it. This girl, like, there's, there's hints of romance in it, but there is no romance, basically. So, awesome book. I'm going to give it five out of five. And... Bye.